I got today's video sponsored by PassFab. PassFab back to school deals are now up. Buy one, get one free. Download PassFab's iPhone and Android unlock software and get their screen recording software absolutely free. If you have an old iPhone or Android device laying around and you've forgotten the lock screen passcode, PassFab can guide you the easiest way to unlocking your device and restoring it back into working order. So please check out the links in the description. And thank you to PassFab for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, how do I sell up here? Welcome back to the channel and summer break is over for most of us, which means we're back to school Hopefully you guys enjoyed your summer break and with that of course means new iPhones will soon be released and with new iPhones Of course new iOS update major update this year Obviously iOS 15 is right around the corner. So in this video, we're going to talk about Additional features that Apple will be adding or enabling within iOS 15 We're going to talk about expected release dates for the next beta and the official final version expected release date as well. Now the first thing I want to talk about is iOS 15 developer beta 4 and beta 5. We'll talk about the AirPods first. So Apple has AirPods software update beta 2 at this point. Apple has enabled conversation boost, uh, spatial audio for FaceTime for AirPods, and also ambient noise reduction. But there's still about three additional features to expect for AirPods this year for Apple to enable before the official launch of iOS 15. We still have additional features like proximity view, which is yet to be enabled on AirPods with iOS 15 and separation alerts. That's also a feature that helps you find your AirPods using the Find My Network. So we're expecting like two new features to be coming to AirPods beta before the official release with iOS 15 integration. So yeah, expect additional new features for AirPods. I mentioned we already have the conversation boost. We also have the spatial audio and the ambient noise reduction. So we're still waiting on separation alerts and of course the proximity view for the Find My Network for AirPods. Now, aside from that, we're also expecting Apple to begin rolling out the driver's license slash ID for the wallet application. So this is a feature that will most likely be enabled in the US first. Not every single state will be added at launch, but Apple is set to be adding driver license to the wallet application with a new authentication method built into the wallet application. And with that also, IDs and IDs for school. Also, keys is coming to the iPhone with wallet as well. So you can add your hotel key to the wallet application to unlock that. Also, for your home, you can add a key to turn on your vehicle. You can add a key. So your iPhone is pretty much turning into your everything, right? Your keychain here. So the wallet will be having driver's license and ID and key integration before the official launch of iOS 15. Now with iOS 15, there's also new emojis expected this year. Now I'm not quite sure if these new emojis will be coming with iOS 15.0 once the official launch, but Apple will definitely be adding new emojis to iOS 15 sometime later this year, hopefully before the official launch of iOS 15. And you're taking a quick look here at some of the latest emojis that could be added to the platform before Apple rolls out iOS 15 here in the next couple of months. Let's take a look at one feature that Apple has yet to enable and that is because it may require a new display. Of course, a new iPhone, an LTPO display which can allow you to have always on display. And this is a feature that's been rumored to be coming to the iPhone, but it does need a new display to be enabled. And maybe iPhone 13 and iOS 15 combined will enable the always on display. So Apple is set to be adding this to the new iPhone. And this is a feature that could be coming to iOS 15 before the official launch right alongside the new iPhone. So with that, when can we expect the official final release for iOS 15 and the next beta? Well, right now, iOS 15 beta 4. So we're expecting beta 5. It is August the 9th. So this week, we can expect a beta 5. So iOS 15 beta 5 could be released anytime from today, August the 9th through the 13th. Apple continues on a two weeks release schedule. And if they keep that schedule, then this week should be the week. I'm thinking on the 10th, but Apple could release it as early as later this afternoon or as late as Friday. Apple's schedule has been a little uh, iffy over the past several betas. Now, it depends on when Apple launches the new iPhone. So if Apple launches the new iPhones, the final version of iPhone iOS could release either by the end of September or by mid-October. So we have about four weeks to play around with here from September the 20th to October the 15th. And that's when we can expect 
iOS 15 to be officially dropping to the general public. Now, once Apple announces the new iPhones, expect the release dates and all that good stuff, then we'll have a better idea. But late September, beginning of October, it's when we'll most likely see iOS 15 launching to the general public with all these new features added to the platform. So let me know what you think about iOS 15 so far. Are you using the beta? Thank you for watching this quick video, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.